Hello everybody, how are you doing? It is Thursday night. I am out in the shop. Uh, I came out earlier this week. I was out here on uh, Tuesday night and shot a little wrap-up video for the show. Uh, of some of, the, And you probably have already seen it. It was a great show. I, and I'm not going to get all on it in here because I'll just keep going on and on. Um, did have a little bit of excitement Monday night. After I got done shooting the video, I thought, man, I'm going to turn a pin just because I was really in the mood. And uh, I left something at the show. I left my dead center and my live center in Steve Miracle's lathe at the show. <laughs> It was kind of funny. I was helping a, a young lady named Paula, and uh, she wanted to learn how to turn. So we turned a pin together, and I was being real careful to pick my tools up and set them on another table, you know, because Steve had all his tools laying out there. And uh, I picked everything up and put it over in my in my toolbox. But at the live center, the dead center were in the lathe, and I just forgot to grab the knockout bar and knock them out. So I contacted Steve. It was no big deal. I got a hold of him, uh, I think, Wednesday, and uh, through Jason Rose, and he put us in touch. And Steve dropped it in the in the mail to me, and it looks like the tracking says they'll be here tomorrow. So that's awesome. I do have a, an, another dead center somewhere and another live center somewhere. They're older, <laughs> and I've but I've got them. So if I really want to turn tonight, I can do that. I got a bunch of other stuff that really needs to happen. I need to get organized because this this I got so much to do and so little time. When I come out to the shop, I really need to maximize that time. So. I'm going to fiddle around here just a little bit today and see if I can't uh, maximize my time. Oh, something I want to tell you guys. Um, when I made the all Spectraply Chaos Blanks, um, I was talking a little bit about um, it take, you know, a lot of waste when you make those blanks. And I wanted to give you guys an idea of what that is. Um, I started that blank with 68 blanks. Now, if you count all the blanks and you take the little half blanks, and put two of them together and call them a whole blank, I get 24 whole blanks out of the chaos glue up. So 68 minus 24, yeah, that's how many blanks I lose. Uh, you figure every time you make four cuts uh, at, at uh, or eight cuts at a half, at an eighth of an inch, man, my math is off. That's an inch that you lose, right? So blanks are three quarters. So yeah, and you make a lot of cuts. So th they are kind of expensive to make. I didn't think about that. Um, I've had a lot of people just hitting me up like crazy for when are you going to finish the blank sale? I promise you guys it's coming. It is, it's not easy to do a blank sale. Everybody thinks, oh man, it's super easy. Just throw them out there. I have to film each blank individually, and then I have to assemble them into a video. And then I have, you know, I'll, I'll edit that video. It takes a while. You cut all the dead time out, uh, get everything numbered, make sure all of the, um, the um, uh, comments are in there so people know what they're getting. Then you build a spreadsheet and document them all. That way, as the emails come in, I can quickly update the spreadsheet and keep you guys posted as to which ones are sold and which ones aren't. It actually takes a lot of work, and I don't want to burn myself out. So basically, I am going to uh, work on them little by little. I've been doing some filming. I will have a blank sale. There will be plenty of notice. I won't, I won't spring it on you guys, I promise, but just hang in there. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of, of uh, <laughs> I only have so much time in a day, and, and I have this little thing called a job that uh, is kind of a requirement, and I have this great, big, wonderful thing called a family that is another requirement, and, um, you know, so I'm, I'm doing the best I can, and I promise you guys are going to be out there. I know you want them, but they're going to be just as good a week from now as they are today, uh, so Hang tight, bear with me, and I will get I will get things together for you guys. In the meantime, I just need to unwind a little bit uh, because it's been a wild week, and uh, I'm just going to kind of goof off and see what comes of it, and I'll keep you guys posted. I found my spare live center, but I never could find my spare dead center. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on a mandrel. I'm having to put a new uh, piece of sandpaper on my disc. It is so hot out here that the old piece just literally separated and was just laying down in here. So I just had to pick it up and throw it away. Uh, I went ahead and took the tray off. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. You can see there's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of dust. And then of course, rubber. I use a rubber eraser to uh, clean my wheel uh, and it does a great job, but it just kind of sticks on there. So I'm gonna get a screwdriver. We'll take that piece off. We'll get, uh, we'll wipe that down with a little bit of acetone and we'll stick a brand new piece of sandpaper on there and I'll be able to square my blank. I just realized that the blank I'm working on, I turned, where did I put it? Here it is. I turned the entire blank before I squared the ends. I could see just a little bit on each end. 
it won't hurt anything. I'll go ahead and square them up, put it back on the bushings, and then uh, uh, should be just fine. So I'm going to get busy. Time to square everything up. We use our rafter square, put it on the table. Nice tight fit against the sandpaper or against the disc. We put our square like this. Bring our jig up nice and square there. We're ready to go ahead and start using this. I went ahead and got these blanks I've been working on squared up. That's the uh, cedar blank from Steve Froome. Here's the micarta blank from uh, Harold Martin. This is the Azalea blank. And this came from uh, Jeff, didn't catch his last name. And then this is the uh, Catalina Ironwood. And that came from Steve Brazil. So those are squared up and ready to go next time I come to the shop. I've got this blank over on the lathe. It's got its final coat of CA on it. Looking pretty good. Just needs to finish drying, uh, not putting any activator on here. You can see some uh, orange peeling and rippling, but uh, that'll all disappear with the micro mesh. That's what it's for. I'm gonna let this spin for a little bit longer, uh, make sure it's good and dry, and uh, I'm not gonna be in the shop much longer. I'm, I'm winding down. This is the last thing I'm gonna do. I'll micro mesh next time I come out. I don't wanna rush it. I want it, to, uh, I want it to be nice. So let's see what other kind of trouble I can get into for the next few minutes. I got a mess out here. It needs to be cleaned up. Got lots of stuff to do, so let's just uh, see what we can find. That's going to be it for me, guys. Um, I went ahead and let that dry a little bit. I goofed off, but I really didn't get anything done. So uh, I'm going to call it a night. It's really, really hot out here. Uh, I'm going to get in the house and uh, let me put these bushings over here so I don't lose them. I'm going to get in the house, edit this video for you, and uh, we'll see you again real soon. Take care. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.